Welcome to Company Showcase, an advertising feature on HowStreet.com. I'm Jim Goddard. I'm speaking with Jim Pettit, CEO and President of Abbott Resources. Welcome back to the show, Jim. Thank you very much. Your drilling programs are going well, are they? Well, yes. Um, based on the news we put out last week and the response we got, um, yeah, I'd say very well. The first hole that we've come out with, actually the only hole we had complete, we had actually rushed it, so it's quite a ways away the rest of the holes. But uh, it was a it was hole number one of this year. It's hole number ten in the sequence of things. Um, have very good results. Uh, you know, basically 38.7 grams over 10 meters, and included in that was 62.4 grams over six meters. Um, but there was three more intersections in on in that hole, um, not connected. They're all in, there's four intersections, and uh, um, you know it's probably at the total depth of uh, 100 and 125 meters, so like from surface straight down. Um, another intersection was 22 meters, uh, 22 grams, sorry, over four meters. 3.9 grams over 13 meters, 8.2 grams over 6 meters, and these were not connected, so they're all individually uh, accounted for. Pretty, pretty uh, impressive. Um, might say that it's one of the best, best holes reported in Western Canada in a long time. So that's got the market going. Um, we are, uh, we've announced the financing since then. Uh, Eric Sprott will be the the lead order in it. Uh, he's a new big shareholder of the company, probably the largest now. Um, that will close shortly. And, uh, you know, we're in great shape. We're going to increase what we're doing. We're going to concentrate on the boundary north zone that we discovered last year. That's where this hole is. Uh, it was lined up just behind the pad from last year that had the three holes that found the, the boundary north zone. And so about 50 meters behind it. Uh, coming in at the two holes were at um, uh, 45 and 60 degrees. So they came in below last year's uh, at, at a at a just like like clockwork. It's just amazing. But it probably got a lot to do with the angle it's on. Uh, it's about a 40 meter separation uh, in terms of being below those holes from last year, um, at least the, the top two holes from last year. And it's it's greatly expanding uh, our knowledge on this north boundary zone, but there's a lot more that we need to to understand. Uh, there, it's hard to get the true orientation, um, the true width. We're trying to get a handle on the structure, and to do that, uh, we have to drill a lot more holes, create these pierce points, so that we can create a 3D model and understand the orientation. Uh, we're also bringing an oriented core um, to help with the process as well. But in the meantime, you know, we drilled seven more holes after that one in the immediate area. We're waiting for assays for those. And then we moved the rig south and across the valley to the west side. First holes ever drilled, we put three holes there, and now we're back to the north boundary zone again. And uh, still waiting on, on assays. And you know, we'll have a significant amount of holes in this north boundary or boundary north zone uh, that will really give us a better understanding uh, of how to look at it and how to drill it uh, because we think it extends much farther to the south. I don't think it's a coincidence that 230 meters to the south was Naranda's historic hole uh, from way back, which was comparable grades to it. Uh, you know, these these two are basically 230 meters apart. And what's in between, there's lots to do. This is a massive geophysical, geo, geochemical anomaly. Parts of it coincide with geophysics done a long time ago, like uh, across the valley where we drilled those three holes uh, subsequent to this discovery hole. Um, there's a very large geochem anomaly and a mag survey coincidental to it that shows up shows something there. That's why we drilled there. So we're just waiting on that information to come back, too. Jim, can you give us some historic background to all of this? Well, um, this was the number one priority area for us to look at when we did a, when we did a, um, you know, we consolidated all the data and uh, did a big, big 
compilation study. And then you take all that information and you prioritize areas to go into targets. And this was the primary one that we came up with. When we got to uh, boots on the ground, we realized there was not a lot of outcrop. There was one outcrop, but that, uh, that one outcrop, this is why we ended up at the boundary north zone drilling, had a 50 gram sample on it. So, uh, you know, so that, that was a good indication everywhere else along this area, um, of our known boundary zone was undercover. Um, you know, vegetation and, uh, sort of tailless, you know, coming down from the mountainside. So you got to get through that and into what we're hitting now. As you head south, um, you, you start running out of the, the, the ground cover and, and you see more, more of the, uh, the geochem analysis sort of starts to really make sense. And, you know, now we're fine tuning the geochem analysis. We're redoing it looking at it a little differently, and uh, lo and behold, it looks like you can actually sort of see the structural corridor uh, based on that and some of the geophysics as well. So I think we've got a, a very large area to look at, far larger than we first anticipated. Jim, where is Abin traded? Abin is traded on the... Uh, Toronto Stock, the Venture Exchange um, under ABN, the OTCQB, which is ABN AF, and uh, in Frankfurt, E2L2. How can people get more information about Abin? Well, I would definitely go to the website. We're uh, just redoing the, the PowerPoint, um, a little bit more inf informative. So I would go to uh, abinresources.com, and you can call the office and... and uh, Get in touch with Don Myers. Jim, thanks a lot for the update. You bet. I've been speaking with Jim Pettit, CEO and President of Abin Resources. Our conversation took place August 20th. I'm Jim Goddard. Comments made on Company Showcase are an expression of opinion only and should not be construed in any manner whatsoever as recommendations to buy or sell any financial instrument at any time. Archived online at HowStreet.com. Company Showcase is a production of How Street Media Incorporated.